open and close depending on the temperature of the water in the radiator. Really? As soon as we drive it a few miles, they'll open up real wide. And then this was an a, a extra in 1938 for $10, the Cormorant. Back in those days, the, the plates were wider. There are no seat belts. No. Well, this was, my 56 Packard doesn't have seat belts, but that was the year when they were starting to bring them out. And they are a good idea. So I guess you just drive slowly. My partner of 63 years uh, always liked big old cars. And he's the one that got me interested, and then I became even more interested than he was. And the, actually, the oil comes up in a tube into this uh, oil pressure gauge. So there's no blinkers either, huh? You have to uh, do no. the hand signals. That's right. When we had the uh, 50th Packard convention, this was one of our spots that we took a lot of pictures at. That's the original owner's manual? Right. Okay, a fault common to nearly all drivers is a marked tendency to oversteer. For skidding, turn the front wheels in the direction of the skid. And that's all real gold. And at one point he had 240 cars in his collection. Those shutters open when uh, the temperature right. rises. purchased this car? In 1951, and I paid the huge sum of $500 for it. I took out a loan with Bank of America with lots of overtime, and uh, when I went to pay it off early, they were very happy to take the money early with no reduction in the interest. And I said, well, there's no point in paying it off. And uh, by the way, you won't see me again, and they didn't. Beauty, is that yours? Wait. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, what's your name? Wait. Wayne? Oh, nice to meet you. Beautiful car. Wow. 1951. Are you serious? Well, and you're keeping it that I'm and the engine? I still. Oh, you. Yeah. 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 Wayne, I like your Packard. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So everybody say Packard. 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 With the accent or without? <laughs> Where are Israel. you ladies from? Israel. Israel, Israel. nice. Yeah. Uh, absolutely a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye now. When the original owner and his chauffeur were in L.A. and they heard the new Packard had arrived, Mr. Warner said, okay, Mr. Otten, last trip in this car. Let's see how quickly we can get back to Piedmont. And he said, and with tears running down his face, we were doing 96 most of the way. <laughs> and here, at two and a half tons, and somebody said, they would do it, but they weren't designed for sustained high speed. And that's why you had to grind the valves. So I did that years ago, and then I've had the engine completely done over. You want to trade cars? Thank you. <laughs> you want to trade? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what is it? 1938. Man, that is beautiful. Thank you. Is it a 12 bus on there? Uh, no, it's a Super 8. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. And you have the step down design like Hudson's had. And then in your hip pocket is the microphone. It pulls out. Oh my gosh, look at that. To talk to the driver. Yes. Yeah. It's all woodwork inside. Then the padding, then the upholstery, and then on the outside is the steel shell, and that's why it's so quiet. If 
I back up, uh, Packard used to be famous for the singing transmission, and some people like that, but others didn't, and so they engineered it uh, so it wouldn't sing anymore in all gears except for reverse. No, it's very smooth. I like this horn. It sounds like a freight train way down. Yes, it does. 